of attention, please, just for one second. Just, for, um, and just to say, uh, first of all, just say uh, um, on behalf of uh, Jim and Bob and Paddy and Matthew, who are the partners with me in this uh, in the venture of Winter Meat Brewery, thank, welcome to the George Inn and Eaton. Um, and just to say that finally, after five years of trying, Winter Meat Eaton Brewery have finally got a pub. <laughs> so, and, and I just want to tell you just a bit about the history of this, because the history actually it goes back well before us. It goes back, it goes back uh, many years. Historically, Windsor as a town it was famous for three things. It had three the three main industries of Windsor historically were the military, the garrison, brewing beer, and that's brewing beer for London, and prostitution. Do you know that? <laughs> we always say that about, about Windsor, and we like to think that. When we, when we started in five years ago, that after a gap of, of 81 years since the last brewery closed, that at least we restored the heritage of one of those back in winter. <laughs> <laughs> there was a better option than prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not <laughs> now, now that, so that was five years ago, and there's a brewery, we're, now, we're five years in, what, in our minds, at least a 10 year project, to create what we like to be seen as you know, one of the most, the most admired breweries. We want to be seen as one of the most admired breweries in, in Britain. And by the way, there's 1,500 others. You know, there's a, there's a lot, we've got a lot of competition in doing that. Um, and we mean, when we mean most admired breweries in terms of you know, the reputation of what we do, the quality of our beers, a bit about return on investment, um, but especially also about what the community, what the people we work with say about us and what we do. Okay. And, um, as part of that, therefore, as part of that, we'd, we'd like, we want to be a bit bigger than we are. We want to have a bit more national recognition for the quality of what we do, win, continue to win, win, win more prizes. We want to probably bottle on site and have a, have a, have a bigger bottle beer business, a bigger visitor offer in our brewery, and we'd like to have a few pubs. And we don't know how many pubs. We, it's, we're not quite sure how, you know, we, we know that as, uh, we, 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 can, we can add value to pubs in, in for what we are, for the, the thing about us. How far that sense, we don't know. But we do know that the George is a fantastic first site for us. And there are things about it, you know, commercially, the thing about it is it's not the simplest site to take on. But we figure that for the longer term, because of where it is, it's absolutely the right place to be. Because if you brew beer in Windsor, and you call yourself the Windsor Eaton Brewery, then you better have a pub in Eaton. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the logic of it, yeah. Now, so, so it, was, it, was, it, was, it was lucky that it came up at a time that we were able to do it. And, and, our, and, our, and our plans for the place is, well, you can, you can see it's already, it's a fantastic building. It's already a pretty high standard. Above us, there's already some really good lake buildings. There's already a great garden out there. And our plan is actually all those quality things we should be able to continue. But at the same time as that, we want to turn it back to being a proper pub. So to keep doing those things, but first and foremost, it's got to be a proper pub. And we want to try and work out the right way to be able to do that in, t in terms of things. And, and so that means you have the same quality of food, traditional stuff, but it's going to be a proper pub. And now, one problem for us to take the side like this is, as a business, we don't have deep pockets. And we, not like other of it. And, 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 and therefore, you know, with a, with a rent on a place like this, you can't afford to close it down. Therefore, the way you, what you see today is we've not closed it down for four weeks, done all this stuff in the planet. It's as it is. You know? and, and, and our plan is actually to change things um, uh, once we start to understand it and start learning the business a little bit. But initially, we'll change three things. And they are, first of all, some of the furniture in the place. And you can see that Mad Matthew O'Keefe has already had his mark on this the place a little bit. You know, it's so some fantastic furniture, and that's the opinion. Secondly, things about passion for beer and beer quality. And Paddy's already spent a lot of time there. And thirdly, things about silage and how we market the place. And one key thing we want to do is, is we're going to call it the George Inn. Because you know, what we think of is that for centuries it's been the George Inn. Being the Prince George, it actually, it was, it was done as a bit of a short-term marketing thing. It's going to be the George Inn because that's what, that's what it should be for me. You know? And that's, that's the plan. So it'll be about, it'll be about that. And so Bob it, with our team is working the silence for that. But from day one, by the way, we want there to be two key things you notice from day one. And it's things about our values. And they are things about the quality, and especially the quality of the beer, and everything we touch about, about beer, and things about service. I just want to tell you just a couple of things about beer. First of all, on, on quality, if you go on TripAdvisor and see what people say about our brewery tours, what comes across is we've got this amazing zeal and, and passion 
for the detail of how we brew beer and the quality of the beer out of beer. And it's the thing, one of the things we're most proud of as a business is quality in the beer we do. And we want, that's got to come across in the, in the pub and the staff and the trade and all stuff like that. And as an example, by the way, we've just, I think the story, we've just had a little expensive lesson in the, in, in the business. Paddy, who, who heads up everything with, on, on beer at our place, has just insisted on this binning a whole big brew of Republican Pilsner Lager. And the difference, by the way, very tiny quality issue with it, that for some of my own indicated power, I wouldn't tell the difference. But he's absolutely insistent we're going to bid it. And it's going to cost us a lot of sales, it's going to cost us crap, and it's going to cost us listings. And we're doing it because he's got this thing, quality of the If it's not right, he won't do it. That's what I was a business. And that's, and that, it's the thing about how we work. Okay? So that's the quality side. On the service side, what I mean by that really is, is that when we work with customers, or whether it's trade customers or, 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 or uh, customers at a pub, we, we want to make sure they get great value out of everything we do. And the story I want to tell you about now is this, is that when we first started as a brewery back in 2012, Waitrose named us Small Supplier of the Year. That's not beer, that's nationally any product. Small Supplier of the Year. And we said to them, we said, you know, we hardly sell you any beer, how can that be? And what they said to us, they said, it's how you do business. And since that, since that day, that's always been really important to us. How you do business is just a really important value to us in terms of respect respect for people and especially making sure everything we do, we don't do we look for the customer's point of view, what they want first of all, and work back from that how we can deliver it. And that's and we so we plan those values, quality and service up to that way, are the things that's going to shine out from that every time you come to the bar there. Alright? And so the final thing so, so well a couple of things actually. first of all, in terms of um, staff, I would like you to to meet a lot of the brewery staff here today and also a lot of the pub staff because we're lucky we're having a good team here. But especially, I want you to meet three people, the most important three members of staff we've got here. Two of them are sat outside there, Tommy and Major, <laughs> <laughs> who are the most obedient members of staff we've ever met. When they're not flattering. <laughs> and the third one here is Sarah, who is, is, is uh, the manager who's running the pub. And we were very lucky to get Sarah. Sarah, we knew well by reputation, as a customer actually, at all stand of England, by reputation. And, and uh, and Matthew has helped to manage to lure Sierra down here to run the pub for us. And we already know that for the standards she brings here, she, she's really good to have here. And so Sierra's absolutely the right person. We, would, we wouldn't be able to do this without her. Okay? Just a couple of things on community, really. And that is this. Is, is, is we want this to be a living asset of community value. You know, we want the, you know, people talk about asset community value like, like it's a bit of some water. Actually, it's about, it's about the business which is, we want this to be asset community value, just like we like the thing that the, the, that the brewery will be. And, and so we're very pleased to be able to come down here today, today with us, to be able to, uh, you know, put up my words saying this, and I hope you all will have a beer here today. We're eating Boatman, our, our fantastic summer beer, Galaxy Hops from, from Australia, lovely, lovely, hoppy, hoppy, nice beer. And we've got a bunch of food here, which I need you to eat as much as possible, simply because Richard's trying to use up all the stock that Eddie left behind. For us. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you need to you need to, have, uh, to make sure help us with that, so that we can get on and get some new menus in place as well. Okay. So okay. So thank you very much for coming here today. Really appreciate you all coming here today. People from the community, the councils, really appreciate you guys coming down today with us. Uh, for the brewery staff down here, the team, and, and all the doing. And especially also, by the way, absolute key partner to us, Mark and Henry from the Royal Farm. The Royal Farm are really big partners just because they, they grow barley for us, which goes to all our beers. And they've also, they take back all our spent grains for feeding the, 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 the beef on the farm. And it's a fantastic arrangement, which means so much to us as a brewery. It's really important to us. So thank you much for taking time to come see us. Thanks for coming here today.